Give me a minute. Hey, sorry, I lost track of time. Well, you see, I thought for our first date I could make you dinner. I hope that's okay. I just really, really love cooking for people. Yeah, I'm a bit of a whiz in the kitchen. I absolutely love cooking and baking. I make a lot of foods just from scratch. Do you maybe want to sit at the bar while I finish cooking? It shouldn't be too much longer. Well, I wasn't sure what you'd like, so I took a shot in the dark and made chicken. I hope that's okay. I'm glad to hear that. Actually, it's my grandmother's recipe. She's the one who taught me how to cook. She always said the way to a person's heart is through their stomach. I know, I know, it's a really big cliche. But I thought tonight we'd put that theory to the test, don't you think? Oh, do you think you could stir the mashed potatoes for me while I'm working on growing the chicken? No, you won't mess them up, trust me. They just need to be stirred so they won't burn. Hmm. Okay, let's see. We can add a bit of salt. And maybe some paprika. Oh, what are your thoughts on a bit of spice? Well, paprika isn't so much spicy as it adds a bit of a kick to it that I think food really needs. No, no, you're doing fine. Just let me help you for a little bit. See, you don't need to stir so aggressively. We're just trying to keep them from burning. So, a couple of stirs will do. Yes, just like that. Oh, sorry, I didn't... I didn't mean to put my hand on your back. I was just trying to help you stir. It's okay. Are you sure it's okay? If that's cool, I'm gonna head back to the chicken before it burns. Now, we can have something to eat. It would be pretty lousy for a first date if I burnt the food. I mean, yeah, we still have potatoes, but that wouldn't be good enough for you. <laughs> you know I want to make a good impression. This is our first date, after all. The chicken is almost ready. If you want to go sit at the table, I'll bring it over there in a minute. You want to keep watching me cook? Why? It's nothing really interesting. I'm just watching the chicken. <laughs> you just want to watch me, huh? Well, I guess if you're going to watch me, then I could teach you how to cook chicken. Though, I make no promises that I'm a good teacher. Well, when it comes to cooking chicken, I use butter on the pan so it doesn't stick and gives the chicken some moisture. Then I kind of just throw the spices on wherever I feel like it needs to be. It comes from practice, knowing what goes well with what. And with that, our dinner is served. I really hope you like it, but please be honest. I really don't want you to sit there and eat it if you don't enjoy it. You won't hurt my feelings, I promise. Wait, what? You really like it? You're not just flattering me. You wouldn't think of it, of course. Well, I'm really glad you're enjoying it. I was kind of nervous to cook for you tonight. I wasn't sure how it would go for our first date and all. You think it's sweet? Really? You've never had anyone cook for you before? Seriously? <laughs> I love cooking for people. I know I already said that, but I do. And maybe sometime I can cook for you again if that's not too forward or anything. I just know it's been nice, and I definitely want to do it again, if you want. No pressure or anything. You would? Really? Yes, yes, 
I absolutely would love to have another date with you. Oh, you want to cook for me this time? You don't have to go to all the trouble, really. I don't... Well, how can I argue when you're that determined? Well, you know all about my hobby for cooking. What are some hobbies you have? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, honestly, no, I can't really say that I've done that myself, but I wouldn't mind trying it, to be honest with you. Well, my other hobbies pretty much consist of cooking, obviously, writing, and listening to music while I write. Typically, I write fantasy novels. Other times, I just sit there and stare at a screen. <laughs> well, yeah, I enjoy a lot of lo-fi while I'm writing or cooking. To be honest, I was hoping to put on some lo-fi now, but I decided against it. thought it may be a tad too much. <laughs> oh, come on, don't be like that. Oh, I almost forgot dessert. That's the best part of any meal. Yeah, I have a huge sweet tooth. I was so focused on dinner that I really didn't make anything too fancy. I hope that's okay. Oh, it's just a batch of chocolate peanut butter brownies. Nothing special. I am really, really glad you like it. I wanted to make something a bit more impressive, like ice cream cake. No, I don't know if that's impressive, <laughs> but time got away from me. <laughs> You're sure it's special enough? I'm glad. This has been a magical night. Don't you agree? I'm glad. Oh, you want to give me a good night kiss? <laughs> I guess that'll be okay. I, uh, thank you. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I had a good time. Be safe getting home. Wow, what a kiss.